What's up, Zombie Slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48. Welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 19. And I'm going to give you a quick look at what I've been doing off camera. Where do you think I should put my bike? I think my bike probably, you know, the bike I'm not using anymore because I have a mini bike. It's going to go into machines and tools. All right. Well, I have been making a lot of concrete mix during the night. I guess a lot. 322. Is that a lot? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I made a hundred rebar frame blocks. We are going to get a lot of experience upgrading today, which is really cool. And I think the next thing, I, during the night, I did put a point into living off the land because I do need uh, to get a little bit more stuff from my crops. I will probably not put any more points into that. Um, I think what I'm going to be going for at this point is better bartering four. All right, which I'm going to need ugh, seven levels of intellect. That's going to be tough, but that's going to give me an auger, which I really, really want. So we'll see how that goes. But today we are going to be working on the horde base. And we're not going to be working on the horde base that we made uh, for the first seven day horde. We're going to be working on a new horde base. All right. Now, I have not abandoned this horde base over here. We'll call this what? Horde base number one. I haven't abandoned it. We're going to make it a lot better. It's going to be freaking dope. But I do need a fallback. And I'm going to... thought I heard a zombie. Anyway, we're going to need a fallback in case that thing goes, you know, horribly, horribly wrong. And I'm going to be making one of my favorite bases ever, the hatch base. Okay? Um, I poked a hole in the wall right there. And that's where we're going to start. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a little line going out here. It'll probably go out about, mm, about eight spots or so. I think. I think that'll work. Um, that is going... Do I want that to be an overhang? No, I don't. I want it to be exactly the way it is. So that'll be a hatch. That'll be a hatch. All right. Hatch. Hatch. And this will be the beginning of the base. All right. And I've got some ideas on how I want to do this thing. This thing's going to take a little bit of time to do. Because, well, I don't really know exactly how I'm going to make it. I kind of have an idea, but not exact... Um, I'm thinking six spots past the first. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that looks good to me. And we'll put one right here. We're going to have to be careful on how much of this uh, rebar and concrete we use because I do not have a lot and I need to put it in the most opportune spots, you know? Uh, so right here is pretty good. So this will give us uh, uh, pretty good structural integrity. Okay, and <clears throat> don't want the floor to be... Now, nah, you know, we're not going to have the floor be reinforced concrete just yet. We have to be very, very careful with where we put the reinforced concrete for maximum, you know, uh, maximum structural integrity, maximum defense, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm going to need some ladders, too. Uh, you know, what? I'm going to need some more... Um, I'm going to need I'm gonna need some more of that. So, uh, some more flagstone. So, let's take some cobblestone rocks. And we're going to make ourselves another 50 flagstone. There we go. For now, I'm hoping not to use too much flagstone on this base. Okay, so here we go. And this can go right across here. Like so. Though one of the things that makes this base so awesome is not only how strong it is, but it's unbelievably uh, cheap. Just unbelievably cheap. Which is just freaking phenomenal. Um... Yeah, it's just, it's sick. I don't know how it'll handle demolishers. It probably won't handle demolishers very well. But up until demolishers, this thing is just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Okay, do I want to put the side thing? Uh, now, let's put this out a little bit more. Six. Um, how many spots is that exactly? That's six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's seven. Let's put it out one more spot. There we go. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to pick that up. And then place that down. Okay. Alright, that looks better. Alright, so now we need to do is we need to make a staircase going up. So, and I'm going to make a single staircase. Usually I make a three wide stair. Uh, but this staircase is going to be very, very um, temporary. So I'm going to try not to... I'm going to try not to make it too extravagant. And hopefully it will work okay. You know, we'll see. We will see. Uh, so we're going to need that there. And we're going to need another one right there. Give it this thing some structural integrity. 
There we go. Okay. And that should work good for the staircase. I'm pressing E. I'm supposed to press R to change the shapes. Fair enough. Okay. And there we go. So they'll come up here. They'll walk this way. That's awesome. Now we need to put some spots on the side. So let's go. Ahead. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let me use my brand new pick, man. I haven't used this thing yet. Oh, God, the stamina. Oh, the horror. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Not with one point in the sex rex. It's just not going to work. Okay, I'm going to treat you guys like you don't know what this base is all about. Uh, because I know I have a lot of new people watching my, you know, stuff. And, you know, if you already know what this base is about, you know it. If you don't, it doesn't hurt to, you know, bring you up to speed. Okay. So, this base is going to be all about hatches. Hence, the name Hatch Base. Okay. So, what we're going to do is, they're going to, the, the zombies are going to walk up this, right? Because this is the way to get to me. All right. They're going to walk up here. Now, the only thing that sucks about this is... Okay. So, one thing you have to know is that this base, this hatch base, is connected to my main base. Now, I'm going to put two hatches right here. And I'm going to walk over here. And I'm going to I'm gonna pick those hatches up or make it so the hatches are down. Once the hatches are down, the zombies don't see this as part of this base. Because if they see this as part of the base, they might try and go in there if they see an easier way up. And I want them to come this way. So just so you know, those are going to be a couple hatches right there. So the zombies will see me at the end of this little walkway. So they'll come up here to get me. And what I'm going to do to stop them is I am going to put down some hatches. Uh, you don't really need that many. Honestly, it's a pretty strong base. Um, I'm thinking that should be good. Those four should be good. Hopefully. We'll see. I mean, I do have guns in case I get into in, in case I get into trouble. Don't forget, though, I do play on 64 max alive. And what that means is I'm going to get the maximum amount of zombies I could possibly get on a horde night. And it goes all the way up to 64. Will I get 64 zombies on day 14? Probably not. Probably not. But they, I will eventually get 64 zombies. So, yeah, that's fun. And if I ever think that this... If, if I ever feel like this base is going to fall, I could just run through here and go over to my other base. That's the whole idea. With these, with these um, horde bases, um, I'm not going to have one horde base. I'm going to have multiple horde bases. And if I feel like one's not going to get it done, I could just go to another one. That's, that's, it's called, I can't say the word, but the word is modular. 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 Something like that. <laughs> yeah, and that's the idea. It's like the bases are built in pieces. So if I don't feel like one's going to keep up, I could just go to another one and it gives me a lot of, a lot of fail safes. Uh, um... I'm not a risk taker, you know? I like to be safe. So what we're going to do is we're going to then do like this. Now, those hatches won't work if the zombies have things that they can, like... If they have, like, areas on the side, they'll simply walk around the hatches, obviously. Because the idea is I'll stand behind the hatches and I'll put it up and then I'll melee the shit out of the zombies. It's great. Um, but the thing is, if they have ways to get around, they will. So in that case, you simply build walls. Okay. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Hopefully I don't fall. There we go. Okay. You're also going to need... Um, you're also going to need a ceiling for this. Now, I don't know if I want to get fancy with the ceiling. Usually I have the ceiling like be sloped. You know. I'm also going to leave the ceiling open for the time being. Because what I like to do is... I like to, ma I like to make the ceiling out of iron bars. So when the vultures come in, I could, I could kill the vultures. So I'll leave the ceiling open for the time being. All right, we're also going to need some doors. Um, I usually like to make wooden doors and then upgrade them because when I put down iron doors, well, I guess there's really no reason to make wooden doors except for the fact that I already did it. Who cares? I'll get the uh, upgrade experience, you know? Um, usually I like to put down the hatches as uh, as wooden hatches because that way you can tell which way they're supposed to open and then I upgrade them. Um but I don't really need to do that with doors, so that was a waste of wood. But that's okay. Like I said, I'll get the uh, I'll get the upgrade experience. Okay, and then you, my friend, go like this. All right. So now I need to figure out how I want to do this part. I forget how I do this part. I think um, man, I really don't remember how I did this part. Uh, let's go to on face. No, I think I did it like, like this. Yeah, I did it like this to filter them in. That's right. 
the thing is, I don't, I don't remember if the hatch was supposed to be the first thing. You know what? It doesn't really matter. Let's just, whatever. Let's just do this. Like that. Like that. And then we go back to... We go back to the flagstone ramp. And then we put that sideways. We can go on face. There we go. Like that. Like that. Copy, ro copy ro rotation. Copy rotation. And that kind of like filters them in. Now I don't... Um, I don't remember if I was supposed to have a hatch here. Yeah, that'll be just like that. Hmm. I don't remember if I was supposed to... You know, I don't think I was supposed to have a hatch here. I think I was supposed to... Um, I, I think this part, this part was supposed to be blank. And then it kind of lets him filter in a little bit better. Honestly, I don't remember. And on, really, it probably doesn't matter. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I don't feel comfortable with only three hatches on this. And with this thing broken out, I'm only going to have three hatches. So what I'm going to do is I am not going to upgrade the stairs. And before my next horde night, before day 21, I'll expand this out a couple more spots. I've got, I feel more comfortable at four to six hatches, honestly. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've never like gone through that many hatches before. This, this base is incredibly, incredibly strong. Uh, but still, why, why play games, right? I'm going to do like... Maybe I'll do five hatches. I think that'll be pretty cool. What I'm eventually going to do with this is I'm going to have this come out five hatches. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it turn this way. Okay. And it'll probably go about six or so spots this way. And then one spot this way. No. Actually, it'll probably go about three spots this way. And then it'll go another six spots this way. And it'll go keep going back and forth like a snake. And what that will allow me to do is set up traps. And the traps will just decimate the zombies um you know trust me on that so this is only the first part of this base and this even this part of the base would really take me a long way into the game the next parts of the base you know will take me even farther i'm still going to work on the horde base over that way and i need a third horde base i don't know what the third one's going to be honestly i'm get, i don't know i'm gonna have to think about that um but these two will you know take me to at least day 21 or 28 i won't need another one uh, till after day 28. So right here, I only have three. Which is not ideal. But it'll be enough to get through the first horde night. And that's what you want. Because if you put the if you put the one right here, they start wailing on the sides and stuff. And it, I don't know. It just doesn't really work work that well. Alright. So, alright. Uh, copy rotation. Copy rotation. Alright, now we're going to need a corner piece. And I always have trouble with this corner piece. I have a feeling it's going to be this one. Mm, yeah, that's it. Damn it. Uh, I, thought, I thought I was going to get it all right the first time. All right, I got it that time. And then we put this bad boy just like that. And that's the entrance. And again, um, well, I was going to upgrade the entrance, but I guess I won't. I'm not going to upgrade the entrance, actually. Uh, because the entrance is going to get broken out. This is going to get broken out. And then I'm going to move this down a couple more spots to give me a good five hatches uh, between me and the enemy. Maybe even six. I mean, why not? Probably don't need six, but whatever. I mean, it couldn't hurt, right? All right. So then this one's going to go right here. And we're going to leave those open for poles. Uh, well, we might as well do them right now. Actually, wait. No. Let's go see if we have any bars before I go making bars I don't need. Uh, if they're not in here, then they might be at the other base. Let's go check the other base. See if we left any out there. I don't think we did, but son of a... All right, whatever. I'll just nerd pull up. Here we go. Nerd pull! Let's see if we have any iron. See if we have any wooden bars over here. Eventually, they'll be iron, but they're not iron, they're not iron yet. Nope. I guess I used them all. Uh, oh, I actually put the hatches in here. Cool. Those hatches are going to be for me dropping bombs. I'm going to be dropping bombs. We need to put one more over there. One more right there. Yeah, we need to put in a few more hatches out here. Yeah, this um, uh, this isn't going to be that good until I get like... You know, here's the thing with this base. You need a, you need a gun. All right, at least I need a gun. I, I don't like the bow. I'm not good with the bow. I want a gun. Okay? 
And the problem with the guns is they go through a lot of ammo. I was thinking, I'm not a big fan of the hunting rifle, but I was thinking the hunting rifle might be a perfect gun for that base because it's high damage. Best gun. The problem with the sniper rifle is I don't have one. And even if I get one, I'm going to have no skills in it. It's a problem. Uh, what did I go this season? Oh, yeah, I went strength. So ooh, the shotgun's not going to be good over there. Maybe... Maybe we could go a little bit into perception this season. I can go to the sniper rifle. Because another cool thing about the uh, hatch base is it lines people up really nicely for penetrator. And I could go shotguns for a close. And I'm not going to do brawler. Although, I got to be honest, I think the M60 is the best gun in the game. It's hard for me not to use the best gun in the game. But, yeah, we might just have to deal with that. Alright, let's go ahead and make some bars. Wooden bars. Uh, let's make 12. And let's do some upgrading. Because I'm telling you, I'm going to get a lot of um, a lot of experience upgrading. Alright, so if you're going to build a base like this, also, another thing you need is a door. Because even if you, like, even if you, like, put hatches here, right? I might as well put the hatches down, too. The thing is, you put the hatches down, like, so, on face. Come on, on face, damn it. There you go. And you do the same thing on this side, on face. And then when they open up, they open up nice and snug. And then you put doors. If you don't put doors, the zombies could theoretically jump across. So definitely put doors there. And we'll put that right there. And now this is looking pretty, pretty decent. Pretty decent. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the bars above us. And, ooh, yeah, we got to put the bars on the bottom. All right, here's another thing. You can't put the bars on the top. If you put the bars on the top, it will give the enemy, um, it'll, it's, this bothers me so much to have to put this on the bottom like this. It really pisses me off. Um, but the thing is, if you don't do it like that, when the zombies come through here, they can jump. And if they jump, that's going to be, um, that's going to be a major problem for you because then they're going to jump over your hatches. It's got to be a, it's got to be two blocks high. Although maybe if you put centered bars, they might be able to knock it through. I, I don't really know. Um... I would just use those bars because they're safer. Okay, let's go ahead and do some upgrade. Let's see how much experience we get for this. Okay. Come on. Should have buried these things. I usually like to bury them. I mean, I still can, but... I gotta be careful. Look at this. Look at this experience. Okay. How much do we have left? Uh, 600. Okay. So what we're going to do is... We are going to solidify this down here. As much as possible. I should have enough to do all this. Now normally, I would also upgrade the stairs. And I would upgrade the entrance. The, the thing that's going to get hit most in this build... Is this entrance right here. All these entrance pieces are going to get hammered pretty good. The only reason I'm not upgrading them is because I'm going to break them out next time I build in the, with this base. There we go. And that's going to allow us to kill any vultures in the sky. All right, let's finish this upgrades. See what we get. Get the hell out of here, you stupid. Look at that. Level 20. All right, you know what? I want an auger. It's my number one concern. Let's just let's just go for the auger. 100% I'm going for the auger. And the way the best way to get the auger in the game is to go, I believe it is better bartering four. That that makes the auger start showing up in the trader's inventory. And if you're waiting for an auger schematic, good luck with that. Good luck with that. I I've, I've never seen one in Alpha 19. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, you guys probably know my let's plays better than I do. If I did find an auger in any part, please correct me, but I'm almost positive I've never seen an auger schematic in Alpha 19. The fun, like, Mammal's like, go out and get it. Well, I've been going out and getting it. It's not there, bro. <laughs> Alright. I, I really shouldn't be doing too much digging here. Yeah, there's really no point to this. Not right now. Eventually, like, um, you know, there's a chance that, like, you know, zombies could be blowing up or digging or whatever. Um, so I usually like to dig into the ground to put the um, to put these things, but yeah, that's not really needed. Honestly, I think we're just about done with this. 
I think this is ready to go. It is ready to rock. Let's go ahead and upgrade these. Well, the other thing I worry about is the zombies, um... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna leave those like that. I worry about the zombies attacking the the struct the supports, but they never do. Man, look at that! I'm almost halfway to 21 from upgrading. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, you get the auger, you get that auger, because when you get the auger, you can get the materials to, you know, start banging out more concrete. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna finish off the video with some wrenching, because I want to make some more. Um, I want to make some more. What do you call it? Uh, cement mixers and I'm going to need stuff for that. I'm gonna need some resources Might as well upgrade this There we go upgrade you as well All right, so we got a nice little we got a nice little solid thing here for for night 14 and we're also like set up for the future That's that's my favorite when like you're set up for the future too, you know uh, tools, tools, tools. We need a wrench. We need a wrench. We need a wrench. Really? I thought... There, there we go. We got a better wrench than that. Tools. I, I, there's no point in even carrying that pick around until I get Sexy Rex 3. Ain't no point. And I'm not going to be getting Sexy Rex 3 because I'm going to be going 110% for the auger. Um, my buddies on Discord tell me every time, <clears throat> go for the auger. Number one, go for the auger. And I, I, I never do. I mean, I kind of do, but I kind of half-ass it. I'm like, oh, I'll put some things here, put some things there, put a point here, put a point there. Where's my bike? And that's just, um, it's just foolish. All right, my stamina is not coming back too well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a drink. Probably should have brought some coffee with me. This stuff tends to uh, really drain your stamina. What I'm looking for here more than anything is engines. Uh, I'm also looking for mechanical parts. Get good mechanical parts from these, uh, uh, from these, uh, shopping carts. Look at that. It was like four in, from one, right? Maybe. Maybe I still had some left over from getting the car. Now this thing's broken, so I should probably just take it apart. So let's take this apart. Now, we'll get some steel from this, right? Can we get some steel? Yeah, there we go. We got some steel. I wonder what I would make with steel. What could I make with steel? Uh, eh, not really anything. Maybe some hatches. The, uh, these are the, up, the ultimate upgraded hatches. But other than that... Oh, I need it for the ch metal chain mod. I only need five. What does that do for you? 10% chance to knock... Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I like ones that's... Oh, I could make a steel club. Oh, that's right. I need steel club parts. Never mind. I don't even think I've seen one yet. All right. Come on, man. Come on, how much steel am I getting from this? Uh, what did I get? Two pieces? Alright, well. It's more than I had before. Can you take these apart? No. Alright, let's get some more cars. I really need engines. That's what I need. Got no engines from any of that. Alright, got some more cars over here. Coming through. I did check that vending machine. There is no food in it. I don't understand. No food. Not one canned food. Oh, hold on. There you go. That's what you get, you stupid chicken. Cook a plug! I threw like a Kentucky Fried Idiot. Ah, uh, woke up all the zombies. Whatever, bro. Whatever. I ain't concerned about no stinking zombies. Okay, what do we got here? And no, I'm not going to take apart that other... I'm not going to take apart that vending machine because that one's working. So, if it ever has canned food in it, then cool. No, it didn't. Uh, you know, I don't want to eat one of those. Are any zombies going to come out here or what? They heard that shoddy. Don't tell me they didn't hear that shoddy. They heard the shoddy. Actually, um, taking apart these cars is not really killing my uh, stamina. So, that's cool. Oh, we need to make a generator too. I keep forgetting. That's right. Yep. All in due time. All in due time, my friends. Well, we did get a uh, battery, but no engine. I need an engine, damn it. Where's my engine at? You freaking engine, bro. I'm gonna come in here, grab some... Grab a couple more cars, cars call it a day. Oh, hello. Oh, I got no stamina. 
Hold on, bro. I don't have any stamina. I need a rest. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse you. You done? You're done. Oh, I didn't even know there was one in here. Oop. Okay. Okay. Let's grab this cart and then we'll, call, we'll grab that vending machine and call it. Probably gonna have to fight some more zombies too. I like taking apart cars because you get like a lot of different stuff that's useful. Alright, come on, man. Ooh, airdrop. Wanna get the airdrop and call it a day? Yeah, let's get the airdrop and call it a day. You guys have been very patient with me. You deserve it. Alright, guys, wish me luck. What do we got? Something good, right? Something good, no doubt. Well, I can't say no to food, but, well, I mean, I mean nothing. Nah, food's good. Food's good. It just, eh. <laughs> A little disappointing, but what are you going to do? All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.